ice frozen tube, super cool fins, we're set to go. That only took one minute to drop 10 degrees. Plus the wind chill factor feels like mid-60s sitting in front of this thing. Totally awesome. I just put one the long way underneath each one of these, so the four corners of the fan, and then in the middle, just one here and one over here. The trick, by the way, to getting these down through there and then back up is to make it like a V like that, and then slip it in and pull up really fast before it straightens out again. All right, check this out. Right to the foot and right to the top. You can, of course, just use cardboard if you want to, but that won't last long if you have condensation in your area. Had to go with the black tubing that came with the radiator here because this tubing will kink unless it's like about three or four times that length. I don't want just a big piece. That'd be a tripping hazard and stuff. So just go with the black tubing that comes with that. I'd probably use it for the whole thing except you only get a three foot piece. That wouldn't be good enough. I got a small DC pump and I bought a brand new AC pump. All right, let's start with a DC pump. See if that little one can do the job. Thirty-six degree water, two point two two Celsius from the fridge. Perfect. Beautiful. It's working great. You want to go with the smallest pump you can because they produce a little heat themselves and they're in the water. So that little one might be the way to go. You know, since the DC pump worked and it's only 5 watts versus the AC 15 water, I'm just going to stick with that. Much lower power, has the solar option, and it won't heat the water as much because it's a motor, you know, and a pump. So, it's still putting out the cool air. I dropped in just one extra ice pack and I got another 20-25 minutes of cool air. It's working great. Drop it in with the cold water, fire it up, and you're good to go. 
20 seconds later, these are freezing. Flip the fan on, a few seconds after that, you'll have freezing air coming out of there. By freezing, like 15 to 20 degrees below ambient temp. I think I had like 72 within a minute. It was like 84 in the house. And then a few minutes after that, it was like in the 60s most of the time and briefly dropped down to like 58, I'll show you that. But that's everything, that's the whole deal. By the way, this is really on there. Like you can pick it up and shake it. It doesn't even move. Once I got them snugged on, I went around and really put them on. So they're really on there, they don't move at all. So you can pretty much lift this and shake it a little bit and it doesn't move. So it's really on there good. You can lift the fan with that and carry it around, it doesn't move. So it's on there good, it doesn't move at all. It holds it awesome. You can pick it up and shake it, everything. It doesn't move. It's totally solid on there. Just hand tighten them by watch. It doesn't even move. It's perfect. Here it is on medium speed. Quick shot of it on high. By the way, I'm not noticing any performance issues with in terms of the air going through it. It's going right through the fence. 